TV Sound System, you know what it is. We're here in the city of London. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Gotta say a big shout out reaching out to the man himself, Chalice Naya from Platinum Cartel, allowing me to come down and use his space to get some of the most exclusive interviews. Remember, TV Sound System, I keep saying my videos them are few and far apart. But when I get videos, man, I get I get I get the good ones, man. And they've got another one right here, right now. The man sitting up opposite me. It's kind of funny because it's kind of like the reverse roles. <laughs> true. I true. kind of started out playing sound, killing everything that was in my way, kind of took back and then started to go into the TV thing, interviewing thing. This man really kicked off in a fine style. We're going to talk about Sound System Sundays and what he's achieved over there in Europe. But then kind of flipped it, joined the Sound System, <laughs> winning clashes. A lot of people in them are kind of kind of scared at the moment right about now. I know there's some worried sound man out there right now. I'm going to keep their ears peeled to hear what this man has to say. Jack Eyes, yes, welcome bro. to TV Sound System. Yeah, man. bro, yeah, bro. How's things, man? Oh, no, oh, no. All good, man. All well, good. Well, first, Can't thanks for taking the time out. We're supposed to link no last problem. time. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that never happened, but we're definitely here live and direct. Yeah. I want, I want to try and, we're, we're not going to go too deep, but I do really kind of want to start from, um, your start in music where did where did you where did your wow. whole music thing start from well trinidad where i born and grow you mm -hmm. know that is where the music thing start for me from a very young age i can remember like my uncles them you know they having the the, the finals and stuff and you know having the turntables and shit. and i don't know i think i just catch it from there mm. you know and obviously trinidad known for a lot of um, musical culture not just soca and and, and um, calypso and all that mm -hmm. but trinidad have a heavy dance soul roots and culture mm -hmm. and reggae influence mm -hmm. you know so as much as we had the soca you know you had a lot of reggae dance soul and roots and culture vibes and obviously you, once you're about you you don't have a choice mm -hmm. you know you had a gravity to the music okay cool so, yeah and what time um, uh, what age did you come over to the uk when i was maybe about 20. okay yeah 20 21 yeah mm -hmm. yeah finished school already in what Trinidad year was that in 90 that, that was 99. wow that was like maybe bank holiday may or june somewhere mm -hmm. there 99 yeah. when dance hall was quite buzzing in the 90s yes, I mean like you're, yes, you're, you're getting, yes. you came here like towards the end yeah. into the 2000s mm -hmm. um, landing in London what did you think of the city and what did you think about the, the, the sound system culture and what was going on when well, you landed? I was already familiar with the likes of like Coxons and, mm -hmm. and Saxons and you know I mean the V Rockets and yeah. the big songs you know um, so landing here was a buzz because for one thing Trinidad rated reggae singers from england mm -hmm. roger robbins you know i mean john mcleans you know mm -hmm. highly rated so the fact that i left trinidad and i was here now where you know i mean the influence of reggae is so strong and you know i mean so respected was a buzz for me mm -hmm. you know it was a real buzz so yeah that's how it started i mean one of the artists i wanted to meet so badly when I landed it was Dennis Brown, but unfortunately I was short by maybe a few months because wow. yeah, around yeah, the time I landed, away. yeah, he passed away. Oh, you know? my days. But I got the opportunity to meet his daughter, mm -hmm. Marla Brown, while I was on tour in Finland, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, just get to reason with her and stuff. I love okay, it, cool. Know, so bam, land mm -hmm. in the UK. Mm -hmm. Um what, how, what where did your musical journey start when you when you landed right so my musical journey started with a song called perfect complex a street okay. song you mm -hmm. know still active still going big up fletch reg and fletch you mm -hmm. know started same way as every young song man will start pulling wires lifting up speaker you know what i mean mm -hmm. loading the amp racks and you know all that and gradually you know got the opportunity to play on the decks, you know, on like a house party, they make you start early and you know, see mm -hmm. what's going on thing. And yeah, it, it built there. After that, um started gathering CDs. You know, them time CDs mm -hmm. was the thing, so you're burning CDs yeah. and stuff. And I don't know, for some reason, music was just gravitating to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I was getting music here, there and everywhere. I started, you know, DJing, playing on radio. Mm -hmm. the first station was RJR. Okay. You know, Conan Campbell and um, Mark Romeo, the brother of Max Romeo, mm -hmm. they gave me my first opportunity, okay. you know, to play on um, RJR, you know, and mm -hmm. there things just built. I played in a place called the Old Bar, that is where I got familiar in Camden. Mm -hmm. I got familiar with a lot of people, um, like Papa Face from um, Rodigan, 
you know, yeah. Channel One, mm. you know, Saxon, them time, uh, Musclehead. Mm. Um, no, um, what's his name again, man? Who has the WhatsApp group? Um, yeah, I think it was Musclehead, yeah, but you know, mm. I got to yeah, meet yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of people and all that, and mm. you know, obviously now the knowledge start mm. gaining, gaining more and more. Because the guy I first heard of you was when you was doing the shows, was it the beat? Yeah. That's when kind of like uh, Facebook was active and yeah. there was a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. And I was super impressed with your show because for the first time, I'm seeing somebody be able to present our culture. There isn't that many, there's a quite a few platforms out there right now. Mm -hmm. But you was one of the first, I mean, it was still like radio. Yeah. Um, yeah. But being able to see the way how you presented music, talked about the industry, interviewed artists, it was a, a really, really um, interesting to watch. Yeah. That time there, um, how long was you on the beat for? It seems like you was on there for a minute. I was on there for a while. Mm. I was on there for a hot minute. I think it only stopped when it was like COVID. When COVID okay. came, that is when everything kind of went like uh -huh. more online, okay. you know? But yeah, I've been there for a hot minute. Um, boy, it was a it was a, a sweet journey. I had a big up case special because um, mm. he was there with me from the beginning. Yeah. You know <laughs> how um, Song System Sundays really started. We used to play on a different pirate station. Mm -hmm. Those times I was playing a song called Almighty Song. Okay. And I think K Special, he was playing Sharp Side Tech. You know, it had a couple other people. And we decided we was going to put on a clash. So as usual, to hide the clash, we would go on each other's shows, you know, just to okay, get a vibe yeah, yeah. and stuff. And one day, K-Special invite me on to his show, and instead of we on the banter, we start reasoning about the background stuff, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, cutting yeah. dubs, you know, mm. how to go around the fake dubs and yeah. all that. And it was, like, it was really interesting to the listeners because as much as they knew about Sound Clash, they mm -hmm. don't know the ins and outs yeah. of what you have yeah. to deal with, you mm -hmm. know, on the background. So the fact that we was just reasoning about that, it was like proper, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, informational yeah, to yeah. a lot of people. Even the owner of the station, I think was TC Ford. Okay. Yeah, he came and he said, yo, very interesting yeah, reasoning. Yeah. You know, and it gave me an idea and I, uh, um, I had links with the CEO of, of The Beat London, mm -hmm. Jennifer, for a long time been helping out with the events and things. Yeah. And I said, you know what, let me, go and talk to her and ask her if maybe it's possible I could start doing a show mm -hmm. you know what I mean about some system called here on the station so I approached her talked to her about it now you know some system called is, 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 is an aggressive thing mm -hmm. you know, with the bad words and the aggression and yeah. all that so there was a bit hesitant to begin with you know but after reasoning with them and explaining to them you know how things go and kind of getting giving them the history mm -hmm. like from 1952 with the Kongs and the dukes and you know how yeah. things started they got a bit more understanding of what it's about and mm -hmm. you know they kind of warm to the fact that maybe having a show on the station would be an asset you know for the community yeah. for the culture and that so that is where it kind of started yeah he definitely you know? I, I was super impressed it was it was like podcast before podcasts yeah you know what yeah. I mean because yeah. it, that's what it was it was less you know when you used to, they used to have the saying more music less talk yeah it was, it was, it was like the opposite yeah way it was the opposite like, way. Nah, I mean, mm -hmm. now we're having a conversation here yeah. and it's conversation yeah. that like-minded people super yeah. enjoyed mm -hmm. how much research do you put into your <laughs> show because wow. your knowledge and your flow is wow is intense Bro. I never see no piece of paper, I don't see no pen nah. or nothing, I just see this bro, straight flowing. Um, how know. much you put in? How much research you put hell in? Hell a lot bro, hell a lot. You know when you like something, mm. yeah, and you get the opportunity to kind of present it to people who don't have so much knowledge of mm. it. You, one time you need to go deep and you need to make sure you got your facts right, you need to make sure you got everything straight. So it became a point where I was just, everything was song system culture, clash, dub plates, events, you know what I mean, the history, everything. Mm -hmm. And constantly, I would go online, I would go through bare different, like, um, SoundCloud, YouTube, listening, you know what I mean, gaining the knowledge, mm -hmm. because as much as you reason with other people, you're only allowed to get a certain amount of knowledge, but other than that, you put in your work. Mm -hmm. and 
it was hella hard, you know, because you had to go through it, go through it, and you know, get mm. familiar with the songs in Canada, the songs in America, the songs in Europe, the yeah. songs in Japan, because mm. obviously you now, being on the station, it was a legal platform. You have a duty to kind of make sure that you spread it wide mm -hmm. and don't angle it into yeah, yeah, one direction. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. as much as I took on board that opportunity, I took on board a big mission as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It never, you know, kind of phased me. Mm -hmm. So I decided, you know what, everything, you know what I mean, I could yeah. learn about it. Definitely worked out well, because again, it's like I said, it's like, you get you, you gave people even if you wasn't really technically interested in the sound system, you made it interesting. Yeah. yeah. So it was like there's so many people that I know who say, Yo, sound system Sundays, mm. you're gonna go to the clash and I ain't gonna go. But they mm. just wanna hear the feedback yeah. that, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And they prefer that they're not gonna go out and mm -hmm. drive up and down, but they get the information yeah. as it is, straight mm -hmm. as it is, from, from the likes of yourself. And I wanna talk a little bit about Europe. Yeah. Because you, me personally, you've introduced me to well over 70 sound systems that I never heard of. And yeah. it probably might be more. I'm just saying that just as a, as a number to say it's definitely 70. Yeah, yeah. Because you've, you've, you've introduced from sounds from Europe, um, Sweden, Belgium, Japan, mm. Italy, France. Um, is there any other places where I could think? Switzerland. Switzerland. Prague. P Poland. It's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. How, do you, Austria. How, how do you get the links and how do you find out about these sounds and and well, make and get them they, they, um, get them on the platform? Part of that, part of that um, have a lot to do with Sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as much as we was doing our thing, Sky had knowledge of yeah. the the Europe scene. You know, just as much as us, or mm -hmm. maybe more. Yeah, yeah. you know, <clears throat> and the fact now that people see it doing something to help lift the culture they decide to chime in and you know get a little strength here mm -hmm. and there so certain times he would know about events that happening over there and he say mm -hmm. yo guys maybe you should get that a little highlight mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and the fact that again we was catering for a wide range i never like shun anything out mm -hmm. you know so big clash small clash mm -hmm. unknown songs known songs it didn't matter you yeah. know what i mean everybody had to start from somewhere so at the end of the day if you pick up a song that not really known to everybody uh -huh. and you could give them a platform where they could kind of gauge on their feedback of how the world took them uh -huh. then they could decide now you know what like that little response you know we go harder uh -huh. and then you build a relationship with them so as much as i had a lot of knowledge still sky he you know yeah i'm gonna say shall i reach out to sky yeah, he came and, and, hopefully, and you know, hopefully i want to get an interview with him as well because he's his background his story and the work mm -hmm. that he puts in is a lot yeah there was a time where you probably didn't see it but um there's a few people them out there they were saying boy the sound system sundays they really they're, they're just focusing on the the european sounds and and because there, there was a time where mm. you was man you that was no. showing us new sounds and, then, mm -hmm. and i know there's like you know behind the scenes people are talking yeah. saying oh no, them and they ain't repping the uk them and this and you, that you know how it, 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 it wasn't it wasn't even that you know Mm -hmm. It was just the fact that I think people didn't want to really approach me per se mm -hmm. because if something happening, I mean I cover so much events down to the big um the big dance with um Saxon and Injection yeah. in the coronet yeah. covered that, you know what I mean? So it wasn't a fact really that I wasn't interested in the UK songs. It's just the fact that the Europe songs wanted it a little more. They was a little more hungry for it. Mm -hmm. I think the UK songs was a bit more reserved mm -hmm. in terms of, all right, yeah, he have a platform, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can kind yeah, of come yeah, as and when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No but time. the Europe song now, they saw an opportunity where they could be noticed, mm -hmm. you know? So they took the opportunity. They never really shunned out of interviews, you know? They would cooperate a lot. Mm. If you know we make communication and anything, likewise all the songs. I think every song, I could count on one hand how much songs like turn down interviews for me, and I didn't watch it as anything because they're still contributing in the business. So even yeah. if you don't want to interview for me, that's fine. Mm. You know what I mean? I Nothing that. wrong with that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you just keep mashing your works, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was never a, a, a fact of me. I'm not 
wanting to do anything mm -hmm. with the UK. See how I'm here I was based. Mm -hmm. I play a song, them time I was playing on Mighty Song. So I am part of the UK yeah. Clash community. My first clash with Almighty Song was in War in Sundays mm -hmm. with Rocky and them. That was even before I started doing the show. Okay. So I was already a part of the UK mm -hmm. clash scene. But it's mm -hmm. just at that time I think the UK songs was a bit kind of cautious, reserved. Which, you know what I mean, it's all good, it's mm -hmm. all good. Mm -hmm. But after a while, everybody warmed to the fact that, yeah, this brother trying to, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, make links and I'll get my interview, so, yeah. Well, you, you definitely put Sound System songs there, it's a long wish sky. Um, it's definitely cemented in the map as one of the best platforms there for Sound mm -hmm. System culture in the UK. There's, there's a few of us, so mm -hmm. we're all doing extremely well, mm -hmm. but everybody's also doing different things yeah. there's different kind of yeah. contents different conversations that are happening mm -hmm. but sound system sundays on a sunday every sunday it's every, it's every sunday isn't it yeah it used to every be sunday, every sunday what sunday. time it used to be like from um some Se from seven to seven. nine in yeah. the earlies it used to be ten till one mm -hmm. that was oh, way before yeah. it was even the beat that was when it was bang mm -hmm. yeah it was like from ten till one you know that's where we did a lot of the early interviews mm. and stuff but yeah changed to seven to nine and then after covid obviously i built the studio mm -hmm. at the back of my house and yeah. yeah just took it there because everything went online innit? yeah 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 you made the right decision at the right time i think yeah. it was a perfect opportunity for you to to definitely branch out and have your own space where you can just mm -hmm. kick back and present and it in again, the way how you want to one problem we had with the with the legal platform was you couldn't be hardcore as you want to be. Mm -hmm. Song system culture is a hard coaching, you know what I mean? People judge it, but at the end of the day, there's doctors, there's lawyers, you know what I mean? There's mm -hmm. brain surgeons yeah. in it. Mm -hmm. When you see them on a stage and they're saying all the bad words, you know what I mean? In real life, it's they are normal yeah, members yeah, yeah. of the it's public, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was kind of hard then, but again, I didn't like phase me. I say, you know what? If this is where it had to be, working with mm -hmm. us well you've done an amazing job so far mm -hmm. um away from that now you got sound system sundays and i remember um one of the very first times we, we met up was when we was comparing which class was we comparing oh it was my event when we was in when we was in northampton in well in, in um, well in Rome. what was, the, what, was that, what was that event me and you was yeah i can't remember if it was my event you know i think it was that is when you had um in, I tried in, to get the, injection, as many sounds you as had possible um, on there. Natural, natural affairs, natural affair, ecstasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah, one of the first times there. I, I think you awarded me um a little plaque yeah, as yeah, well yeah. For, 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 for everything that for you were doing. Because like I said mm -hmm. again, fingers in everything from 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 the radio to even being able to host many clashes that you're doing now, and I think you're hosting a few before the end of the year. Is there something coming up? I'm sure um, I see you're hosting something. I saw no, something no. Else is Last one I did, I did um, Music Master Diamonds and um, Infinity. That was okay. in Tottenham. Uh -huh. um, um, yeah, that's it. I got I, I got a clash coming up at mm, the end of September. That's yeah. with um, Coalition and Zygon. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. How do you find hosting? You know what? <clears throat> it's a challenge. Mm. It's a challenge because obviously you can't please everybody. You know, mm. but for me, I think once you try and keep the clash going and you focus the, the, the spotlight on the songs and just keep shit going, you know what I mean? Sorry mm. for the, the, the <laughs> that's good, that's yeah. <laughs> once you once you keep things going, I think that's the main thing. Mm. For me, sometimes I find hosts this kind of you know what I mean, they just look the spotlight too much, you know. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, how I say it as well, is a respect you have from the songs or maybe be the promoters because mm -hmm. you wouldn't just be called to ask the host a clash yeah. if people know your little buyers, people know your little bad yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So yeah, uh -huh. so it's just a reflection on the character you have as well in the business and in the culture, mm -hmm. you know, when True. you get called up for a host duty, you know, take it with a level of you know yeah. respect as well because uh -huh. they could have called anybody else yeah, or yeah, they could yeah, say you know what your eyes too bad man you know man yeah. I might buy a soap my song <laughs> and you know what i mean you know so <laughs> and that yeah. can happen as well man yeah. tv sound system you know what it is we're here with your eyes um we've just gone through a couple of the things that he's doing now um away from that the announcement came yeah <laughs> yo right, phone call you know. yo Jai's is playing Platinum Cartel, you know? And I thought, I was like, eh? 
And then I sat back and I thought, Jack Eyes is a person that is so level headed, like the way how you present yourself on the radio. Mm -hmm. It's very calm. It's not no and gassing and really by excitement for nothing. Mm. And I was thinking, and seeing you host, I'm thinking, has Jai's really got that <laughs> wham, 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 you know, know what I mean? mean? Yeah, to take yeah, it to yeah, the yeah, team, yeah. it's platinum cartel. Yeah, yeah. Not, that's true. not getting twisted. True. And only could regular, regular sound. True. So I was like, I, I, had to, I was sitting on the fence and I said, if he's as talented and he's got the knowledge and everything and he understands that he's talking to all these sound systems and he's doing his studying to play a sound like platinum cartel, he might come out on fire. Mm -hmm. And I waited and I waited to the event and I couldn't make it to the event. Mm. That's Roger Britches's, um Which one? The one in Leicester? No. The one what, the one that Roger did was that that wasn't Leicester. Yeah, Roger it? did too. He did the one in Leicester with Squad 54. And then he did the one in London here. The one that's was, just gone now, yeah, where you won the trophy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one there. Shall I be chatting to Roger British? We haven't pulled out the audio yet. Mm -hmm. I've only seen clips. <laughs> yo, but I've seen the clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I says, yo, Jai's has got it, you know. Mm. You it know just what? came. Where did, where did that? Because that means you must have knew that you could have done that from a long time. Yeah, yeah, Was it just yeah, waiting yeah. for an opportunity? Remember, remember Clash with Almighty mm. and Clash against White Magic. I was the first person to kind of kill that. White Magic when he was on a little buzz and yeah, he yeah, was yeah, beating yeah. people. I think he went over to Italy, come back, you know, mm. and Warring Sundays, Dong Norwood, you know what I mean, Clash White Magic, you know what I mean, kill him. Uh -huh. Then kind of everybody started getting a buzz. I think that is when I met Sky as well, you know, and then after that, due to little circumstances, I ended up moving to Notorious Inc. Mm. Clashed um, Capricorn okay. with Notorious Inc. Yeah. That was in Nail in the Coffin. You mm -hmm. know, again, so people realize, you know what, as much as he's a radio presenter, he have the little aggression, you know, mm -hmm, and he's mm -hmm. feisty, and you know what I mean, he's kind of fearless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I think the big, as I say, the big question was, could he handle Black Yeah, yeah. And you that's not I mean? no discredited thing, it was just like, I've just never seen that outside of Yana for mm. raw. Jazz is a problem, you know? And I just thought, how much, like, how did they link? Because I spoke to, um, I spoke to Chalice, mm -hmm. the interview with Chalice last time I came down. We were speaking about the same thing. But um, on your side of things, how, how did the Y Platinum Cartel? Because clearly, you probably, if other sounds called out to you, you could yeah. probably do the damage. Yeah. yeah. Equally. But why, why was it Platinum Cartel? You know what? First, when I left Notorious, I was going to like just take a little break because you know as much as you love it family life is a thing that you need to find balance and mm -hmm. you see how hard I was going all over yeah. Europe and mm -hmm. you know what I mean doing them shows Sunday sometimes I do four interviews on a Sunday so you could imagine the amount of work putting yeah, yeah, in to yeah, yeah. get all them things so I kind of decided I was going to take a break and funny enough my brethren Raven from Culture Blend he said eyes I wouldn't mind you on the team, you know, you ain't have to do nothing, just, you know, be there and just represent. Mm -hmm. And I said, all right, cool, you know. But again, talks had happened with Cartel again and all that, but still now, you know, it's just which, which, which way you want to go. So, talk to Raven and stuff, but then I realized now, you know what, big up Raven, big up Culture Blend, mm -hmm. but the style is totally different to the UK style. Mm. you know and cartel had a uk style which yeah. was phenomenal and mm -hmm. highly rated so that is where the meds change and i say you know what maybe cartel is a better opportunity and then again remember i like culture i like the business so mm -hmm. being able given the open opportunity to represent a song like cartel and try and take it up a level or two mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's a challenge and mm -hmm with this business you had to love challenges else you ain't going away yeah so i was 100%. like you know what maybe have a little bit of <laughs> gain in me we're running with cartel and yeah. see what go on you know yes and so. how, how are you feeling the vibes um how long have you been on there now is it uh, maybe about two three years or two three it sounds years. mad that, that, that it just seems yeah, like it's just years, just happened two. recently mm -hmm. in my side of things um mm -hmm. how are you how are you finding it like the position that you're in now good, where you think good. the sound's going real good you know what i mean positive the songs you know what i mean progressing just as as much as i wanted to mm -hmm. you know because at the end of the day what you put out is where you get back you know mm -hmm. so the feedback and the vibe of everything that I do and what coming back to the song, yeah, mm. happy with that. And with Platinum, are you MC, selector, 
Well, you know how we go with me, I could kind of do a little bit of everything. Uh -huh. That is why I end up representing on my own at that clash there. Mm -hmm. You know, so I could MC and I could select, mm -hmm. you know. How hard do you find it? Because I was just speaking to Chopper earlier from Foundation mm -hmm. and he says, He's on his own now, and he's on the MC and mm. select. You so know I was saying what? to you, how hard is it? Because that was something that I did, and it was sometimes the pressure on it yeah, is it immense. De depending, you know I mean? depending on the situation you're in, it could be a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. you know. But again, once you find your gear, the people will accept you and what you executing or whatever, uh -huh. and work with it. But it could be a big challenge. Yeah. It could be a big challenge, you know. Well, you got a serious challenge coming up soon. This clash that we're talking about, you just mentioned the two names again. Mm, it was um, Zygon and Coalition. Yeah. Both very, very, good, very songs. good songs. Very, very good, good songs. Sound. Yeah. You have the home advantage. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously, you can't take them too lightly. No, never. Um, how's never. preparations going for this? Preparations one? going real good. You know, I can't complain about it. It's going real good. The thing is with cartel box and not giving out any secrets. Mm. The box is so strong and hard. You just have to kind of like choose the right guns to bust. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah because like that, it? it's, it's yeah. there. Everything mm. is there, you know. So it's not really hard. Again, you have to do your research, you know. You have to have an open mind as well because we are fine. Um, a lot of people, as a reason with a lot of people, and like when you're building a set for a clash, a lot of people build their songs and every song they see in a forward. Mm -hmm. But what happening if you're not getting the forward? You know, so obviously now you had to have the two angles, you know what I mean? With cartel, so rounded, mm -hmm. strong box, the angle is so easy, mm -hmm. you know. So again, now it's like things you're learning differently from. Yeah previous songs that you've been on, mm -hmm. you know, and then now Cartel again is a song that is unique, mm -hmm. irregular, you know what I mean, one and way tunes, one and way dub, so as much as you had to learn the box, you had to learn how to cut for the box, mm -hmm. you understand know, so what I mean, so, yeah, 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 so again, challenge, everything was, yeah, it was mm -hmm. a good look, it was a good look. We are outside London, <laughs> London City is a vibe, you know, we've been out here all day, the sun is setting, mm. Jet Eyes is up inside the building, Platinum Cartel, we're going to be coming, I'm coming down to that event, mm. I says this year I did, I was doing so much different businesses and whatever, I'd never got barely any chance to come to any real sound clashes, but mm -hmm. I definitely, when these ones, they're not the ones that make sense, and I'm not yeah, putting down they, anybody's mm -hmm. dances or anything, but there's certain ones where you just can't mm -hmm. miss. Yeah, and after seeing your performance on, on, on the last one, I need to see this one. Yeah, I want to yeah, see yeah. this one live. Yeah. Um, away from that, before we wrap it up, um, if I had to say to you, the top five artists that you're listening to right Ooh. now, uh, it, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what genre of music, um, and, it, I'm not, and it doesn't have to be the latest artist, it's just mm. the five that you, you hold the vibes to when, you, when you're chilling out or... Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> Good question, because, <laughs> you know, the, the range could be so big yeah, and the crazy. genres could be so different. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like slow jams, you know, relaxing, you know. So, I'll say the likes of the Jews, you know, mm -hmm. that way. Yeah. Soka is my music, my island, my kids now DJing mm -hmm. on the road. I was going to finish so, up with that one. <laughs> um, yeah, into the soca mm -hmm. a bit more than usual because of them. So the Marshalls, the Bungees, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, the Patrice Roberts, mm -hmm. you know, and then the new artists coming up as well, you know, Mikel Tejia and all that. And reggae, oh my God, reggae could, could go from like Desiree, Midnight to couple of the new artists, don't get me wrong, I'm mm -hmm. too keen on all the new music. I would mm -hmm. listen to some of them, like Roger Wilds and them, but mm -hmm. you know, reggae, dancehall, from Bounty Killer, Beanie, Bouchou, Sizzler, Hugh Mondell, mm -hmm. the Cultiers, you know what I mean, yeah. Twinkle Brothers. <laughs> it, it, crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. And then before we wrap it up, you just mentioned, how proud are you uh, to man. see your children? I've, I've watched the videos with the massive Bro. smile on my face. I see you in the background, like, sometimes, you in a little vibe, got a little smirk on your yeah, face, but sometimes yeah, yeah. you look serious, man. Yeah, like, like, no, like, like you said. You know what? It's, it's all joy still, you know. It's yeah. all joy, it's all joy. And, you know, as you say, it's a proud moment because I never forced them That's the into thing, it, man. you know? Yeah. I remember, like, when the, the, the little 
Pioneer 2 Channel, Sierra 3. Mm -hmm. You know, and my daughter, she saw it and the lights and everything, and she get kind of like, you know, obviously kind of mm -hmm. obsessed with the colors and stuff. And I remember the mom saying, yo, don't let her play with it, you know, break it. I said, listen, DJs just be roughing up this mm -hmm. thing, you know what I mean? She ain't going to even do half the damage yeah. they do. So I leave her, let her play with it, and gradually, you know, she start understanding it more, you mm -hmm. know, like in terms of what to press to get what, the yeah. speed, pitch, and everything. At a really young age, maybe mm -hmm. about where she would understand it, like three, four, mm -hmm. five years, wow. guys, where she was understanding it. And then she start asking me, like, you know, the basics, cue points, the bars, everything. And I showed her, and to be honest, if I said I showed her like for three weeks, she got it. Wow. She got it. I don't I do even I do even That's help so her build cool. sets. I know they're like headlining shows now, yeah, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're playing for like 500, 800 people. Royal Festival Hall, you know, um, <laughs> um on the terrace, Brixton, pop pop Brixton. Uh -huh. You know, they, they they play they play all over the place. Wow. Um, well her biggest achievement here is the youngest DJ um, for Notting Hill Carnival. Okay. Yeah, at 11 years old, she wow. played on the Sunday and Monday for two different bands. So, again, and she held it in press. Hell of a lot of people. Absolutely know, fantastic. Local Every time and I see it cool, DJs, man, I just say, yeah. yeah, man, that is so cool. So, mm -hmm. congratulations on that. Yeah, congratulations man. with Sound System Sundays. Yes. Congratulations with Platinum Cartel. Yeah, There's so much we could talk about. Yeah. Because, uh, once again, I gotta say a big shout mm -hmm. out to Chalice because I'm, I'm gonna try and make this like every so often I'm gonna just forward yeah, down. Forward and we're holding a little reasoning. There's yeah, so many things yeah. we can talk about in the industry and on the music side of things. Mm -hmm. I definitely wanna start and tap into and give me some some history and some knowledge on the soca side of things and the calypso side of things mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that sometimes gets missed it's always the reggae and the dance or yeah but that yeah. is such a major part of music from the caribbean yes. and i think the only person that i could really sit down with and have a proper conversation and and, and tap in would, would be you so yeah man, i look no problem, forward man. to do that mm -hmm. um i think that is it anything yeah. you want to say any any plugs you want to do anybody nah, you big you up know for what? just just big up everybody out there that's pushing the business pushing the, the the culture keeping it alive you know not just in the uk around the world because it's our world mm. you know what i mean that's something i say from from long time you know keep mashing the works keep doing what you're doing big up Pick up my song, yeah, Platinum Cartel, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, one of the baddest right now, Just. you know, big up, big up um, my brother Marcus guy, big him mm -hmm. up same way, you know, big up kids as well, mm -hmm. you know, I had to kind of involve them a little more, yeah, seeing yeah. as they kind of spot. I'm going to I'm gonna ask you to send me a little bit of footage, yeah, that we can, yeah, we can overlay on this so the yeah, people yeah, can yeah, see the, the vibes that they're, they're on with, right now, man, it's absolutely know? crazy. Yeah, man, and yeah, just... Big up yourself, bro. Keep Thanks, mashing man. your Thanks. works, you know Thanks. what I mean? Keep doing it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a long journey, and I think as long as we're in the business, you know, it, 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 it will strive, yeah, you know? Man. Yeah. Like you said, always side with it. <laughs> yeah, we always side. <laughs> yes, Guys, bro. enough respect each and every time. People, right, keep bro. it locked. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. TV Sound System inside the city of London. The, the, it's, it's such a warm day. And it's just been a vibe. It's just been a joy to just sit down with some of the sound man them who are key players inside the city of London and around the UK and the likes of Jet Eyes and Marcus Sky Europe. So keep it locked, like, comment, share, subscribe. We're out one. Peace. <laughs>
name Zoom Clash in Brixton. Guess what? Coalition and Zygon, you see tonight?